Where oh where is WarioWare? While we've been blessed with Mario remakes this year, one short angry man has been left out of the limelight, despite the appreciation for his high-paced bizarro party game. It hasn't actually been that long since the last WarioWare title. WarioWare Gold came out on the 3DS in 2018, and going back through the timeline, we've had a steady stream of games since the first in 2003. For those that don't know, WarioWare is a collection of micro games, which you can think of as even smaller versions of mini games. They're about five seconds long and are based on a simple, if a little ambiguous objective. Things like Diagnose, Cannonball, and Dance. If that all sounds pretty easy to you, well, you're right. WarioWare's difficulty comes from its pacing. As you progress, you'll have less and less time to complete each game, and harder variations of micro games mean that, ultimately, you will make a mistake. But WarioWare's simplicity makes it highly accessible. Anyone can play a WarioWare game and there's real accomplishment in using quick intuition to beat a game that simply says, digest. Of course, my love for WarioWare games is pretty much insignificant if a new one isn't on the way. Fortunately, the WarioWare rumour mill has ground out plenty of hopeful speculation to a new game coming in 2021. I'll remind everyone that this is just speculation, so don't start thinking this is a guarantee, but it's more than just a guess as well. A few reputable sources, or as reputable as leak sources can be, have said WarioWare is in development and it just might be ready for a 2021 release. I mentioned these leaks in particular because their sources have been right on other occasions, which gives us a little more credibility. I won't dive into all the details here, but I will put links in the description if you want to get your hopes up to dangerous new heights. Just know that it's a long fall from up there. With that exciting information in mind, let's look at what WarioWare might look like on the Nintendo Switch. The original WarioWare was made for the Game Boy Advance and the GameCube and with just the standard D-pad to work with, micro games played out like condensed versions of the minigames you'd see in Mario Party. But later titles, in typical Nintendo fashion, utilise the unique hardware of the consoles. Games on the Nintendo DS and the Wii U utilise the touch controls, and WarioWare Twisted had a rumble feature built into the Game Boy Advance cartridge. But it's 2007's WarioWare Smooth Moves on the Wii that I remember most fondly, and the one I think that a new WarioWare game might most resemble. Despite the huge variety of micro games, WarioWare Gold on the 3DS has over 300, given enough time you can learn what to expect and the games become pretty straightforward. The exception to this, in my opinion, is Smooth Moves, due to its multiplayer mode. Other WarioWare games have included multiplayer as well, but there's a key difference in passing a Wii remote between friends versus a GameCube controller. In smooth moves, microgames are split into forms, which change the orientation of the Wii remote. Some games might ask you to grip it horizontally, others ask you to lay it flat on your palm or use it as an extension of your body. A big part of Smooth Move's charm is passing the form baton between players and readying up before each game begins. While WarioWare Gold offers the biggest collection of micro games to date, the hardware, or rather lack of hardware, means that the games on Smooth Moves are left out. The Switch, with its touchscreen and Joy-Cons, could replicate every WarioWare game to date in one ultimate package, but that seems a bit too easy for the next game and would probably be a bit of a letdown for many fans. Nintendo is always innovating around their hardware gimmicks, because let's be honest, that's what we'd call it for any other console. Remember how Kinect turned out for Microsoft? But by doing so, they create something that other consoles have left in the past, which is physical, same space party games. Not great in the COVID era, I'll admit, but they'll be back. So finally, I want to look at the different types of WarioWare micro games that could work on the Switch. WarioWare Twisted was arguably the most innovative of the whole series, bringing a tactile rumble feature to the Game Boy Advance within the cartridge itself. Obviously, rumble wasn't a new thing at this point, with the Sony DualShock and Microsoft Xbox controllers having vibration as well. But by cramming the gyroscope into the game cartridge, it provided a more precise, almost nuanced level of vibration. Not the angry, violent rumble you'd get when breathing a fireball, but a gentler, almost mechanical rumble to suggest the satisfying turn of a key in a lock. The Joy-Cons fall into this second category too. You can see it in the latest Mario Party, the HD rumble suggesting how well done your meat is. 
You can see it in 1-2 switch as well to guess how many balls are in a box. Let's talk a bit more about 1-2 switch. It took a lot of heat on its release because it was a product demo that cost near enough full price, but it does have a lot of fun mini games that if you added a twizzly mustache and a couple shouts of wah, would feel right at home in a WarioWare game. With an accelerometer, gyroscope and infrared built into the controller, the Joy-Cons could perform every minigame found in smooth moves, which is pretty great. And given there's two of them, there's potential for new forms, like two Joy-Cons stacked on top of each other, side by side or in a T formation, there's huge potential there. The only game that wouldn't be easily replicable is Game & Wario on the Wii U, as it used two screens, the Wii U and the TV. The Switch has to be docked to show up on your TV, but the good news is that Game & Wario is one of the weaker entries in the series, with some people not even classing it as a mainline WarioWare game. Even when we consider the touchscreen potential for an undocked Switch, the lack of a stylus means that more precise, touch-based elements are a bit difficult. Maybe the game could come packaged with a pen? And thinking about it, touchscreens have come a long way since the DS. I mean, we now use one with our thumbs every day. But I think there's enough versatility in the Joy-Cons that we might not even need touch-based micro games in a new WarioWare. And remember that WarioWare Gold is only a couple of years old and that came out on the 3DS. So I expect and hope that WarioWare on the Switch more closely aligns with smooth moves. The last thing I want to talk about is multiplayer. Now I've already spoken about the round robin style in smooth moves and that the Joy-Cons have the same potential, but the Switch as a whole has even more. That form switching could extend to the console itself, where there's an element of almost building the Switch into the correct configuration before a microgame. Imagine if you had 7 seconds to undock or dock the Switch, or attach or detach the Joy-Cons before each game. This introduces a little bit of risk around damaging the console if people got too into it. Nintendo's health and safety division has already been working overtime ever since the Wii with how many be careful of your surroundings and please attach the strap to the controller so you don't accidentally throw it at your cousin's face reminders they have to include. But there's something there, I'm certain, and I'm sure that Intelligent Systems, the team behind the WarioWare games, can think of some clever way to incorporate the system's many different play modes. I mean, remember what they did with Nintendo Labo? That was good. As for online multiplayer, there's a sprinkling of rumours suggesting we'll get a Battle Royale mode, like Tetris 99, which would definitely lend itself to the WarioWare formula. Not sure if I see it happening, but it would definitely be cool. Personally, I'm hoping that WarioWare on the Switch perfectly coincides with everyone getting over our collective fear of touching other people. If we can do that, maybe we can all get together to play some WarioWare. Just maybe wear some gloves, just to be safe. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, the team here at Blue Shell is made up of the best of the best Nintendo fans, all of us dedicated to bringing you speculation and opinion with the research to back it up. So if you like what we've been doing and if you want to see us do more, please drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, I salute you. Have a Merry Christmas, but only if you've subscribed to the channel if you haven't. I hope you get coal in your stocking. My name's Sam, this video was brought to you by Blue Shell, and I'll see you next time.